share my screen. And here it is. Let's start the presentation. Uh, can you see the slides? Yeah. OK, so uh, hello, everyone. My name is Vladislav Kucherenko. And today I will present to you a tool for testing and debugging Requestly. Uh, we will start by exploring what Requestly is all about. We will uncover how to improve the way uh, you test and debug your application, making your development workflow smoother and uh, more efficient. Uh, next, we'll dive into world of HTTP requests. We will discuss how Requestly rules uh, can manipulate uh, those uh, requests in various ways and uh, how creating a mock server can unblock your front-end development when the backend uh, part isn't available. Um, after this, um, we will walk uh, through the live practice session. And uh, finally, we will wrap up uh, a QA session. Yeah, so feel free to ask any questions you might have. Uh, okay. so. What is Requestly? Uh, Requestly is an open source platform mostly for the front-end developers, providing a suite of tools and integration of uh, uh, coding, testing, and debugging processes. It addresses common dependencies that front-end uh, developer face, such as uh, need uh, for backend API updates and, uh, for example, um, environment-specific testing challenges. Uh, Requestly available as a browser extension, extension and uh, desktop application. Uh, they act as local proxy on the device and enable front-end developer uh, to reduce uh, their dependency on uh, backend developers. Uh, also provide uh, complete control on network layer to inspect, uh, capture, and modify HTTP requests and responses. Um, so let's start from redirect uh, request rule. Uh, the direct request rule helps uh, in uh, changing the HTTP request location to a new destination as per the configured rule so that the response uh, is transparently served from the new location as uh, if it uh, was the original request. And possible use cases you can see uh, on the slide. Um, after this, uh, I would like to talk about uh, replace string rule. Replace string rule uh, allows uh, to first swapping out uh, specific parts of the URL uh, facilitating the testing in different endpoints or resources without altering uh, the code base. Um, after this, uh, I would like to tell uh, you about modify, uh, modify headers. Uh, Requestly provides a simple solution to accomplish this, uh, allowing developer to add new headers, remove existing headers, or uh, Override uh, yeah, headers uh, in a few clicks. Um, also, you uh, have an ability to modify a request body and uh, modify query uh, parameters. Um, it it helps you to uh, override the API request body uh, with static data or programmatic, uh, programma programmatically modifies the existing requests payload. Um, uh, another rule is a uh, delay request rule, is a tool for simulating slow network condition and allowing developers uh, to test uh, how an application behaves under delayed responses and uh, ensure um, robust performance, even the network um, latency is slow. Um, also uh, exist a console request. Console request rule uh, allows developers to intentionally block certain requests, uh, enabling them to test uh, how their applications uh, handles failures or absence of specific API calls or resources uh, which is uh, critical for ensuring robust uh, error management. 
and uh, um, the last useful um, HTTP rule is modify API response. Uh, this rule uh, lets you alter server responses directly, enable the front end testing when the backend uh, changes are, uh, are pending or not available, uh, which is uh, key for uh, iterative development and uh, fast feedback. Okay, so. After this, uh, I will uh, proceed to live practice and uh, uh, we will uh, dig into the uh, practice. So before we start our practice session with Requestly, I want to briefly describe uh, what setup I have. I have the front end for a to-do list uh, that is created for you uh, in Google Sheets. I created a long, long time ago, and um, I think today is a good time to, to use it. Uh, we will replace uh, Google API with uh, our created mock server, and uh, we'll see how our uh, local backend server running. Um, so finally, sum up uh, for this, I have a local backend uh, server running, a mock server, uh, front-end part that is uh, hosted on Vercel and also um, running on preview mode that is almost as production. Um, okay, so um, let's uh, start from the creating mock server. So basically, first of all, we need to move to the request application. I will use uh, browsing, browser uh, page, uh, but it also can be uh, used uh, by uh, different extension. Uh, and uh, for example, uh, desktop application. Um, so uh, in day-to-day -day development, the ability to simulate uh, backend services is crucial. Often we find ourselves blocked by backend services that are either under development or uh, unstable or simply um, unavailable due to various uh, reasons, some such as maintenance, for example. Uh, this is where the concept of mock server becomes uh, invaluable and uh, it allows us to mimic uh, those backend services uh, how running, ensuring that our front-end development and testing processes um, are working smooth. Okay, let me collapse this. I will delete already created. Okay, so uh, we will start from the creating uh, mock server. I will name it uh, get to do's. Um, there we can specify the method. Um, we want to mock uh, the status code. Uh, yeah, so it contains variety of status codes for different use cases. I will use this one. Um, also, we can specify content type and latency. Um, yeah, good to mention that latency setting enables developer, uh, developer to simulate network delays, uh, and it is useful for testing. Uh, then we can type uh, here a specific endpoint we would like to use and uh, yeah and then we need to specify the response body uh, so basically i have already prepared and i will paste it there um, but uh, some time ago they have a feature with uh, generate by ai response uh, sometimes it works sometimes not but um, yeah, by cave words, it uh, can generate you something. Um, okay, so creating, and uh, after this, you will be able to copy link. Uh, this copy link uh, have some tricks. Uh, my note is that uh, not to use this link uh, as in the 
code or Postman tool, uh, you will face with uh, uh, an SSL verification issue. Instead of this, uh, use the link that you will be redirected to. So basically how to test it. You can uh, try two methods. Uh, first of all, just paste the link uh, we copied and uh, press enter. Uh, you will be redirected to the valid link without any issues. And uh, you will see that there is our mock uh, response. Also, the another, uh, how, another way how we can test it is open this um, uh, model and um, simulate the request. You will also see that you are, oh, you are redirected and uh, redirected to this link. So it's you can use it uh, as well. And also the response here. So yeah, um, my Versor application already linked to this uh, uh, URL and uh, I will show how it works. So basically, um, we're loading the page and receiving the values um, uh, we sent in the network tab, we can move to fetch um, tab. Here, we will see that we are sending the request to this link and receiving uh, such response. Okay. Um, yeah, so that is how we can create mock server and uh, use it. Uh, then I would like to move to some HTTP rules. And um, um, I would like to start from a redirect rule. So um, um, let's, let's move to this uh, link. And I would like to redirect uh, uh, the request Lemoc server to uh, my local running server. Uh, to do this, I will copy paste the uh, request URL, uh, create new rule. There we can uh, choose a uh, rule specific we need to use. It contains some description, demo video uh, that may be useful, but the documentation, as for me, um, have better explanation. Uh, okay, so um, let's create the name for it. And um, what we can do here. So here we can specify uh, the rule on which uh, the request will be redirected. We can uh, choose URL, host, path, and uh, each it contains, equals, or matches, for example, rejects. I will specify the link and uh, test this uh, part. And the link I would like to redirect. I think it's local host well as to do. Yeah, it contains additional test request. Uh, okay, so there I would like to copy and paste it. Uh, saving the rule. Uh, to see that rule enabled, uh, you uh, can see it's there. And let's test it. So moving to the request app and yeah. So uh, what we can see here, first of all, we see our additional uh, mocked uh, data uh, as according to the re request. Uh, we see that our initial requests were redirected uh, to our local uh, server. Um, yeah, so basically, what problem it can solve? The problem when developer needs uh, to quickly switch the front-end application hosted uh, on any hosting, in my case, it's Vercel, um, to any uh, local development server uh, for backend requests. Uh, it gives you an opportunity to real-time testing, debugging, um, some of new features without uh, deploying the backend changes. Um, yeah. The second case I would like to show is um, also redirect. Um, I will go to uh, initial page. 
um, and I would like to redirect the bundle we received for our uh, uh, for our application. So basically the bundle is here, all other is just loaded extensions. Uh, so we can see that we have this bundle and on my local uh, machine, I have the same bundle, uh, but with another hash uh, at the end. So I would like to redirect it. Uh, let me create a rule, number two and paste in here, specifying the um, a rule we want to use. And uh, we will tell that uh, we are gonna redirect it to this link. Um, and press save. Okay, so uh, as we see, it's enabled and I will uh, reload the page. Okay, so um, if if you will inspect, uh, let me highlight it, index. Okay, so, all right, we see that our initial um, uh, source file with JS redirected to our local. Uh, another part uh, that you can see also some additional parameter here, uh, not parameter, it's just label. Uh, basically what it uh, describes that, for example, our uh, hosted application, for example, on station or, or production um, already became prepared, uh, but uh, we will need to test it, how our, how our uh, UI will work with uh, um, real uh, staging or production database, we can just switch uh, the bundle and uh, test uh, how it will work without crashing and deploying anything. Uh, so that is another uh, really useful use case. Um, yeah, so, and um, then I would like to show another HTTP rule. Before this, I will, um, uh, disable this request uh, URL, and uh, I think, and I think, yeah, that's it. So for the next testing, um, we will need to modify our uh, mock server to contain updated uh, schema uh, of response, and a will response. Uh, I forgot the. Uh, this one, I hope it will work. Okay, I am saving and uh, I will create a new rule. Uh, this rule will be uh, modify API uh, response. Uh, basically, um, this rule may be useful for cases when you need to when you do not need uh, a mock server, but in my case, it's mock server anyway, uh, you have uh, your hosted backend and uh, you want to change the response from your server um, directly. Okay, so how it will work. So there we can specify um, which resource type you would like to use. Uh, in my case, it's uh, HTTP res uh, REST API, uh, I will also, also specify this link. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Okay. And here we can paste uh, what the data I would like to use. So yeah, uh, there I can paste, uh, for example, extend it or cut it. Uh, let me cut just uh, um, a response body and uh, save the rule. All right, so uh, let's move to the our virtual application and I will reload the page. So 
yeah, as you can see, currently it's not working because we have modify a redirect request expected. After this, let's try to reload. Okay, we see that we are loading now from the mock server, uh, but uh, the values are not updated. And that is one disadvantage of this tool. It sometimes work from uh, many time reloading. Um, yeah, sometimes from third time, sometimes from 10 time, yeah. And uh, yeah, let's try to reload a few times more. Mm -hmm. uh, let me double check. Okay, so we are um, modify response for this URL. Um, okay, pretty fine. Okay, yeah, so it basically should work. Um, let me try another few times. Okay. Yeah, so, um, when I'm preparing, it works fine. <laughs> okay, another, uh, another how it can be tested. And sometimes it's uh, working correctly. We can test this rule and capture screenshot. So test testing. And you will see that it's working. Um, I think if we will open console here, we will see that it's updated. But for our um, running server, it's not updated. Yeah, that's uh, some uh, some kind of disadvantages of um, modify API response. Um, yeah. So um, okay, but we will proceed. Uh, let me disable all rules and uh, and we will continue with console request. Um, console request. Um, uh, using console request, you can cancel, for example, CSS uh, to see how your page will work. Uh, to do this, you will need to open uh, uh, source code network as uh, our CSS specify this uh, URL and create for example rule I'll name it five paste there uh, this dot is usually not working uh, it's another disadvantage here after saving um, I think it will work correctly. Yeah, so we see that uh, the CSS blocked and uh, we cannot receive it. Uh, another use case is uh, just uh, creating the same. Um, I will create new rule for cancel request and we will cancel um, fetching um, our to do list uh, to see if our error handling working uh, or not. Um, save, go into the reversal and yeah. So as we can see, uh, blocked and uh, we see validation here. Um, so summarizing console requests, uh, use cases. Uh, I want to mention that console request is useful for testing how your application behaves uh, when specific API calls fail or are unavailable, allowing you to ensure graceful error handling. Uh, also, it can be powerful for uh, testing and debugging micro, micro front ends architecture, uh, allowing developers simulate uh, failures in specific services, components, uh, micro front ends, ensuring that each micro front end can handle dependency uh, and availability. Okay, um, so the next our rule will be um, delay network request. Um, let me find it here. Yeah, here it is. So basically, um, if we are talking about error handling in previous case, it's nice to 
discuss um, delay network request. Uh, it gives an opportunity delay network request can be useful for testing an application loading state. Uh, so yeah, let's create and uh, uh, specify the same API uh, request. I would like that URL contains this and the latency I would like, okay, for now set maximum 10 seconds and the delay of 5,000 milliseconds, it's five seconds. So let's create the rule, uh, reload the page. And yeah, so it, basically in nice application, it would be correct if there exists some loader. Uh, I don't have it, uh, but anyway, uh, we see that the time uh, here um, delayed for five seconds. And after this, it's redirected to the, the correct link uh, that return us uh, uh, our response. Okay. And also I would like to show uh, replace string rule. So basically replace string rule uh, uh, is a rule, uh, the, this rule is useful for replacing some uh, something in the URL with another value. I will show a simple example of replacing image. Uh, uh, yeah, of replacing image. Mm. Okay, let's choose this one, this one, uh, highlight this one. And uh, basically um, talking about images, I have only favicon uh, for our uh, site. I would specify and change it. I already prepared and deploy another image to uh, public folder. Uh, URL contains, I guess this will be enough uh, without dot. And I will replace white with my test, save the rule, reload the page. And yeah, as we can see, it's also redirected to another, um, to another image. Um, yeah, so also, Mm, finalizing uh, my uh, uh, demo, I would like to show that uh, Requestly really contains uh, a lot of different uh, rules uh, that can be replaced each other. Uh, for example, replace the string can be also um, realized, uh, created by a redirect request and um, etc. cetera. Uh, yeah. Also, I would like to mention that uh, it contains uh, different templates uh, for redirecting, different staging production version, bypassing course for course validation. Um, yeah, and uh, when you work with Requestly and uh, changing the <laughs> different requests, it's good to be aware that uh, you probably will lead with, uh, it probably will lead to course errors. Uh, yeah, and using different these tools uh, can give you an opportunity to solve uh, the issue with course. Um, other uh, thing I would like to mention is uh, HTTP rules. Uh, yeah, there we can create uh, folders and uh, um, grouping our uh, rules all together and then just uh, switching the status for all group. That is also useful for testing purposes, uh, different uh, APIs. Um, yeah, so that's basically it uh, for my demo. Um, yeah, let's proceed to our QA session. Uh, feel free to ask any questions. Thank you, Vladislav. Guys, if, if uh, someone has any questions, comments, agrees or disagrees, please uh, unmute and ask or use chat for this. <laughs> 